Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the new Amazon original film, One Up, from director Kyle Newman, who previously has done films like Fanboys, which I'm a huge fan of that film. I absolutely love Fanboys. And watching this esports comedy about a group of female gamers who wind up getting put in a position where they can't compete on the official team of their college, wind up putting an all-female team together of their own and go into competition about against their male counterparts and what should be a really inspiring and meaningful film for a lot of female audiences and, you know, should be entertaining for everybody, I wish they put together a better movie. Um, I don't know if this is, like, this film is sitting at like a 2.3 on uh, IMDb, which is crazy. This has so many one-star reviews on it, and some of them, when I was looking at them, didn't seem like they really warranted, and it might be a backlash of like, Yes, this film does not portray male gamers very well. It puts on a perception of a lot of gatekeeping and sexism. And that's not 100% wrong. And, like, it, there's a lot of nerd fandoms, geek fandoms, gamer fandoms that aren't very inclusive. So I don't think that's a bad representation of this, especially because... I've been part of things like this, and it's just like, no, there's truth to that. Did the film need to craft the most stereotypical, one-dimensional characters to represent those men on this team? No, because they weren't really engaging. And I feel like I thought about Dodgeball a lot, because th this is a sports comedy. Dodgeball is a sports comedy. Dodgeball would not have worked anywhere near as well as it would have if White Goodman wasn't an interesting character. He's hilarious. He's a piece of crap, but there, like, there's actual personality to him and characterization. These are just a bunch of cookie-cutter assholes, really, and there's no depth to them. And then you have our female characters who we're really supposed to get behind, and some of them just, like, they have some of the most horrible dialogue and cringeworthy dialogue to try to make work in this film. And you have Paris uh, Barelk, who plays Vivian, our main character. She's the most normal of the group and the most straightforward. And she doesn't have a whole lot of depth either. She's a really stereotypical, like, main character in a sports movie, sports comedy movie. Um, Harry Neff, who plays Sloan, her best friend, She's great. She has a lot of personality. I really enjoy her in this film, and she really stands out. But, like, she even has some not great dialogue that she tries to make work. And then I feel like a lot of the other young women on this team are just fed these ridiculous, over-the-top, obnoxious roles that are really hard to find any grounded work in. And, like, some of the banter back and forth between these two teams in the first two-thirds of this movie are so cringeworthy that you're just like, Ugh. This isn't funny. This isn't funny at all. And I wish that they approached these messages better because, obviously, they basically just scratch the surface and just offer up, like, Hey, obviously there's tension here. Men versus women. That's all we need, right? and then people will get it. There's no nuance here to these messages or anything, and this feels so stereotypical. And, like, Ruby Rose is a very specific actor, and without a whole lot of guidance, don't think Ruby Rose is the strongest actor. That's the case here, and this character is not great. There's a lot of, like, nostalgia for gaming that's thrown in, and, like, I appreciate it. There's one particular scene that I really enjoyed, and, but, when this gets into its third act, I feel like the film is starting to, like, settle in to less of a horribly cringe comedy and more of just, like, your by-the-numbers kind of sports movie. Which is an improvement, honestly. At that point, I'd rather take the by-the-numbers sports movie versus the 
cringy comedy that I could barely listen to the jokes going on. And I feel like the actual gaming part of it is fine and entertaining enough. They do have a few moments that do stand out that I really appreciated. It tries to get across certain messages too, and I think they work fine. There's one there's one moment with one of the characters, and it's ridiculous and absurd, but it's actually pretty funny, and I bought into it. It kind of reminded me of like the Steven Root part of Dodgeball where he gets the shine. So one of like the random group team members who she's definitely out there and really weird. She gets to have a fun moment when they're in like the cha one of the main games of the tournament, and that's fun. In general, this film has some elements that work, a lot of them that don't, and is not the best sports comedy. Like, not even close. Like, this is something that I was pretty disappointed in, and like... Especially for where you have players that are on, like, that's on Paramount Plus that I think is a really fun and interesting mockumentary about, like, esports and stuff like that. I feel like this film kind of took the most lazy route to it and then tried to throw in cringe comedy that just did not land. So, in general, wouldn't recommend this really. Um, unless you're like a really diehard gamer and you want something, but from what I could tell, at least with a lot of the reviews on IMDb, a lot of diehard gamers hated this. So I don't even think that this is going to really work for like diehard gamers either. So I don't think this is really going to work for anybody. And if they're going to make more, like in a world where a league of their own exists, this is a joke. But those are my thoughts on One Up. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.